I have this project where I am plotting the democracy score for a country. So you pick a country and then it'll plot it in an area chart like it's here, but also plots the political leaders that were on power at that time. So here, for example, in Spain, we have Mariano Rajoy that was in 2011 and then Pedro Sánchez in 2018. So I have the names of the leaders, but I don't have an image. What we're going to do in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a Google search, image search, and grab the image. And then we will, another video, crop it, find faces, and all that kind of stuff. So this is just to get the image, okay? It's actually very, very simple. Let me show you. Right, so here we have the code. The first thing that we need is two packages only. One is requests, and the other one is beautiful soup to be able to process the HTML. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick a leader, Barack Obama, for example, and then these are the parameters for our query. It's going to be the, the search person, the name of the person, which is Barack Obama, and then this DBM parameter is the ESCH. It means that we want to do an image search. I'm not authenticating, I guess because I'm not hitting the limit, this is fine. And then I'm going to do just a request, a get request that has Google search and then adds the parameters, the Barack Obama and image search, right? So if I print that, it will give me the HTML code for that search. I'm going to show you how that search looks in here. So you see Barack Obama, image search, those are the images that we get of Barack Obama. So we're going to grab the first one, I don't care which one it is. And for that, we're going to read this HTML code into soup and then prettify it so we can actually see a little bit. I think this code is very hard to read. And then we're going to start looking for where the images are in the HTML. And you can see here, image and SRC, that's always where the images are on HTML, not most of the times. If I click on here, the link, I see the first match, which is this one, right? So it's working beautifully. So I need to extract with beautiful soup the image tag and then get the first RSRC, the first image. And the code for that is as simple as this. I'll show you. I mean, there is actually a package called Google Image Search that you can install that will do all this for you. But because I'm learning Python, I want to do it manually when it makes sense. And in this case, I think it makes sense to learn how to extract the HTML, do requests and all that stuff. So here we are. So now we're going to, using soup, extract the image tag. You can see it here in action. I like to th see things in action so I know what's going on. So this is extracting all the image tags. You see them here? So then I want this first hit. And that's what you get. Let me comment that away. And then this will get me the first image, which is Maracuama. <laughs> so simple, it's crazy. And then obviously, because there, I'm going to have more than one leader uh, on my chart, I need to loop this, right? So I have here a list with two leaders, and then I'm just doing a for loop, and then creating an empty list that I'm going to append the results here and then print it. If I run this, I get the two results here. How easy was that? It's amazing. I'm guessing that if you start doing like crazy search, like a ton of hits, you'll probably have to use an authentication key, but it looks like for just a few hits. And I'm generating these charts dynamically. so. I'm not saving anything. That means that I will do maximum, I don't know, maybe 10 image, which I will never hit the, the API limits, I guess. So this works beautifully for me. The next video that we will do is, if you remember, this is another. So we're going to, from the images, I want to grab the face. I don't want to have the entire portrait. I just want to have the face. So we're going to detect faces. And then we're going to crop the image to that. And then we're going to mask it with a circle so we can plot it like this. You can plot it with a circle or with a square or whatever, it doesn't matter. So 
that will be in the next video. I hope you're enjoying this. I'll see you in the next one.